The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is a game-changing camera. The DJI Ronin S is DJI's first modern gimbal, the start of a revolution of stabilized footage for videographers everywhere. I've been using this pair together for the last three months. I've seen the goods, and I've seen the bads. Which obviously begs the question, how does the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro and the Ronin S hold up in 2023? I'm gonna answer that in this video. This here is a Blackmagic 6K Pro with a Canon EFS 18 by 135 millimeter lens. This camera sits inside a tilted cage to allow for more attachments to be added to its frame, such as an SSD card or an RGB light. This also allows me to mount my camera on the Ronin without a bottom plate due to these extra circle holes on the bottom. Inside is a 512GB CFast card, allowing the camera to record in the highest bitrate possible while reducing on the weight of an SSD. Next up is my next piece of equipment, the Ronin S. This gimbal can hold up to 8 pounds, making the Blackmagic easily sit on it at 4 pounds with no issue. The stabilizer features three different speed modes, as well as Bluetooth connectivity allowing one to control the gimbal with their phone. There have been many gimbals made in its image, but the Ronin S basically holds the cake as the game changer of gimbals, pioneering the revolution for similar technology today. Obviously, the camera is amazing. It's a $2,800 cinema camera that can record in 6K. It looks immaculate, 12-bit footage. It's amazing. Paired up with a stabilization platform such as a Ronin S, it gets all those micro jitters out and it makes it hyper smooth, exceptional looking footage. It looks great. I cannot complain about the footage. Paired up together, they look amazing. An added benefit to this setup is the Blackmagic's gyroscope. That basically means that any like little, little jitters that might happen are gonna be completely gone because the gyroscope can stabilize the footage. The heavy weight of the gimbal allows the camera to be supported, making it feel fluid in your hands while you're using it. As you can see from the examples, there's a night and day distinction between using the gimbal with the Blackmagic and not using the gimbal with the Blackmagic. Despite how well the setup works together, there's still some issues that you have to work with. Such as, it's super heavy, like super heavy. Like the Ronin is like four pounds and the Blackmagic is another four pounds. So that's eight pounds with a payload of 10 pounds. So you're reaching the payload, you're close, and it's just super heavy. Your shoulders start to give out. It's like you're holding a weight for a long period of time. Basically, it's just really heavy and you can't get around that. The second issue involves some software limitations with the Ronin S and the Blackmagic basically with their compatibility. So when the Ronin S was made, it did not have the Blackmagic in mind. Essentially, it is not supported. Therefore, if you would like to use the buttons that control the camera on the Ronin S, you cannot use them with your Blackmagic. That basically means that while you're shooting, you have to manually hit stop and manually hit start if you wanna record, which doesn't seem like it would be the end of the world, but when you're doing a shoot and it weighs eight pounds, that means that you have to hold the gimbal with one hand while you're hitting that start and stop at the top or changing settings. That's another thing to take into consideration is that that lack of control basically means that there's one more thing that you have to do while you're shooting. Those little teeny tiny issues aside, I still love this setup and I'm still going to be using it for the time being. I see no major reason to upgrade. I think it's great and it still works very well and serves a phenomenal purpose. While I do wish that I could control my camera with the gimbal, I don't think it's necessarily worth upgrading and spending another $1200 to potentially get an RS3. That being said, as newer technology comes out, the discrepancies between this technology that came out in what, 2018? And then newer stuff that's coming out now in 2023 will become more and more obvious. So while the Ronin S isn't the best gear that you can get for your Blackmagic, it still is a phenomenal piece of gear and can provide a very exceptional professional level stabilization for DSLRs and cinema cameras. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yeah, have a great day and thank you for watching.